Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to, um, I am waiting right now at a theater because I'm, my daughter had asked me to go to a really cute true story movie um, here in California with them the night before Easter. And But I wanted to just share a little quick Easter message with you about the resurrection power of God and what Easter is all about. And it's, it really is truly about um, being carriers of God's love and glory and being a representative of who God is in such a profound way with character and with, with that e extra step of love and kindness uh, given out to people. And, you know, Easter is the best time to reach out to people. So if you can't call somebody ask somebody to go to church with you tomorrow. Um, and it, it's very important that we reach out at this time of the year, especially it's, sometimes it's it's really the only time that some people go to church and it's a time for people to get to know who our savior is and what he did for us. And, you know, I was watching a testimony of Jonathan Rooney who did The Chosen and it just spoke to my heart because he was talking to, um, uh, Jenkins, um, I, I forgot his first name. His father was Jerry, and my husband worked with him, and I or knew him, and on on Left Behind, and I was trying to think of his first name. But anyway, they worked together on this movie, uh, these episodes, The Chosen, and they're so fabulous. But uh, Jonathan Rooney is playing the part of Jesus, and he talked about how he felt so responsible for being who Jesus was, to be like Jesus, because people were looking at him as Jesus, and that he, not for one moment, feels like he could even uh, be like Jesus, or even touch being like Jesus, but that he didn't, and he did not want to be presumptuous in that, but he want, he in his thinking, when he was playing the part, he would pray and he would ask God to help him to be who he was or like who he was in those parts. And I just thought, what a heart he has. You know, his heart is after God. He's Catholic, I'm not Catholic, but I really love his faith and his authenticity and his his um, true, real relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, he, but I was thinking about what he said and I thought, yes, that's true. You should, um, you know, you have a responsibility in a sense. He doesn't want to be shown out drunk somewhere and then playing Jesus. He wants to be who Jesus is everywhere so people look at him um, with that character. And I thought that was very honorable. Many actors don't do that. But I was thinking how much we all need to be. We're the same. If we, if we call ourselves Christians, we have a mark on us. We're to be like Christ. We're to be Christians, Christ, like Christ, and so we are to we bear His name, and so wherever we go, we put shame on Him, and we use His name in vain. And I think that's more or less about cursing and saying a bad word than it is about you can use God's name in vain with cursing. But what's even worse is 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 being a hypocrite and not living and carrying that joy, that love. And if you go around pouting and say, I'm a Christian and you have a, uh, a Christian sticker on your car and you're driving terrible and you're uh, acting like the devil and getting mad and honking at people on the road. And uh, I'll tell you, that's, I, I'm talking to myself because so many times I've seen drunk drivers, I've seen people and I just wanna get them back, you know, Urgh. you know, I wanna tell them what's right. But you know what? We are to shine as lights in the darkness. And I'll tell you that a miracle will start turning around if we will be the carriers of the character and the love of Jesus and we will use his resurrected power in us. When God, when Jesus, uh, what Easter is all about is Jesus died on the cross three years, three, sorry, three days later, he was resurrected, but he had been uh, to hell and got the keys from the kingdom from Satan, I'm sorry, 
and we are to be kingdom carriers with our keys, opening up the prison doors, opening up the doors for salvation and for uh, for those that are bound with chains. And, and we need to be those people. Wake up. Don't get caught up in arguing and, and trying to be right or anything else. Just, you know, um, be who Jesus was. And I had someone recently tell me, uh, well, that's a fake Jesus. Jesus, you know, it's like he stands up and says, this is right, and this is right. No, he, he was not like that. He stood up when he, he knew what people were thinking. He was God. We don't know what people are thinking. We, we, we are not God. So we don't go around judging everybody. But if there is some word of rebuke that we need to give somebody and God shows us, we'll know there's a heaviness on us. It won't be because our own flesh anger, but we will speak into that and we will speak up and say it by the power of God and it will turn a heart or it will uh, make a person turn around and go away. And, and so we need to be that much in tune with God and have that resurrection power that Easter is all about to be able to have that power in us and that prophetic word and to hear from God. So let's do it. Let's do it this next year. Let's walk with the Lord. Let's talk with him. And I've got to go now because my daughter's here. Blessings.